All right. Well, I I have never done this kind of casting before, so okay, I'm, uh, I'm they are completely dry. Yeah. So there should be no explosions. All right. Good. And, and they have been they have been heated to about 500. So. Excellent. Down. This is your source of aluminum that you're yeah. yeah, this is a screen door that I found on the side of the road. Well done. Yeah. That is becoming aluminum. Yeah. They have other problems. Yeah. Yeah, aluminum that was made for extrusions, like for screen doors, uh, is not ideal because it was designed to be extruded, not designed to be cast, but it is super cheap. So you, you printed everything then? Yeah, I just printed everything, inclu including the uh, including the, um, the, funnel. The, the air holes. Do you see those two holes? Those are actually air vents that go to the bottom so that when the stuff goes in, the air can come out. Got it. Here it's not so necessary because they're open, so the air can just bubble out. So you've done this before? No, first time. First time. First time. And so, uh, so you 3D printed the object, yep. then so you cast it in plaster? You can still see the print lines? Right. Right. Um, I typically lacquer it. Right. And the lacquering didn't work out well. And it, I had difficulty with it the, with the freezing in the mold. Yeah. Uh, so the bunnies have little ears at the top. Yeah. So it's like a, you know it looks like that. Yeah. So we'll see how much goes into the ears. Yes. Um, but I could imagine if you preheated. Absolutely. Mold. So it's a um, it's a cylinder uh, made out of uh, refractory cement, mm -hmm. uh, and then there's a pipe coming in the bottom that's blowing compressed air in the bottom, and then yeah, it's full of charcoal. Yeah, very high tech. Charcoal. Yeah. Okay. Yes, so the aluminum will melt at 1400. Yeah, I see. It's not. There's a bunch of aluminum oxide floating on there. I'll just scrape a little of that off. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's actually a godsend that it floats because yeah. it makes it in the mold, it'll also end up at the top where you don't care. Right, right, right. Got it. Well, how did you learn about this mold technique? Like, is it is it just well documented, yeah, yeah. or like no. you just made it? You've just been yeah. winging it here, huh? Yes. That's I mean, awesome. I was like, okay, I want to make objects that are like that are like exact and precise, like for different things. Uh huh. And but I don't want to make them out of plastic. So we have the pioneers right here. <laughs> See the, the carbon leftovers are burning mm -hmm. under the aluminum there and probably bubbling. Yeah. So um, that one I expect to come out much nicer. Because of the carbon extras burning? Well, so the, 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 the smoke will be, yeah. The mm. shellac that was left over that didn't melt out properly left a sort of carbon crisp. Got it. Um, which is what is burning right now. And you do or don't expect that to come out better? Sorry. I think that's going to come out worse. It's worse. Gonna, it's okay. going to make CO2. And CO2 is going to bubble. It's going to bubble, and so the, you're going to have the surface okay. surface. Whereas this one uh, was without was done without the uh, shellac, and like you see, it's completely inert. Interesting. Can you make a picture just down like this? Yeah, yeah sure. It's a better angle. Now, this is the this is the time where you accidentally think it's cold and grab it. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, the, the problem is not that it would be liquid, but that uh, aluminum has the property that it becomes very brittle when it gets to a certain temperature. Hmm. Um, and, and so you can, and it looks like that something's yeah. cold. So this this air did not complete, you yeah. see? It's a little shorter. <laughs> yeah, it's totally a little shorter. So it didn't fill. And it didn't break. It's not like I broke it off because there's nothing in there. <laughs> so this is the one we think didn't do as well, right? This one? Because yeah. this is the one that had the bubbling. Yes. The bubbling and the smoking and the drama. Do you have a, a, a what do you mean? clipper? Uh, I've got a knife. Uh, I'll, I'll find. I'll find you. That's all right. I, I can probably just crumble it, but this one didn't quite come up. <laughs> all right. I think I got it. 
There you go. It's a burnt bunny. That is a burnt little bunny. Oh, it's got a chip on its back too. It's got a chip on its back. Looks like. Maybe it's just the coloration. It's not even that hot like it's not even burning the plant. It's frying it a little bit. Are the bunnies still hot to touch? Or they're cold? Oh yeah, they would be. They would be very hot. But they're probably going to cool off a lot more quicker now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. See, that was a little air vent. It's got a skinny ear. So the, it's the, 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 oh, the it's aluminum went into the ear speed. and then into the uh, into the air vent. You're gonna be able to work that off though, no problem. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the idea. But the thing is, yeah. it will flow better into the ears if the air is immediately removed. Yeah. And you can ah. see these ears came out way better. Oh yeah, those ears are awesome. Yeah. The uh, one of the tricky things about sand casting is getting the consistency of the sand right, so that air and hot gases can move out through the sand, but, the but that is not so. Uh, full of air that it collapses. Yeah, that's the definitely the nicest bunny here. No kidding. That looks well, awesome. Oh, well done. So then, how do great. you take off the air vents? You, you yeah. just grind it off. You yeah, grind it off. there's a lot of mechanical work there. Just another one. Fires. Bunny off. There is a bit of a seam there. Yeah, there was no seam on the model. Mold cracked slightly internally. Ah, uh, that's yeah. why I've been moving to adding um, a bunch of uh, fiber. Mm -hmm. um, so you can buy this borosilicate fiber that is good to like 2,000 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. Just mix some of that in. This gives the mold All more right. strength. Oh, wow. that's a cool looking bunny. Thanks, Eric. Oh, you're welcome. Thank I you know. guys I'm, for letting I'm happy us to watch. Show you how by to make the way. Molds if you ever